All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Raka Kwadas. Okay, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, I want to go on this topic of, um, you know, our. All of the 12 tribes of Israel uh, Negroes okay and um, I'm gonna go through the scriptures and I'm a proof uh, that they aren't all Negroes okay now when we uh, bring out the you know 12 tribes chart you know a lot of people uh, don't take that for face value, man. Okay, I'm gonna get this uh, definition. Okay, for what face value is. Okay, the value printed or depicted on a coin, banknote, postage stampage, ticket, especially when less than the actual or intrinsic value. Okay, the superficial appearance or implication of something. Okay, so. Basically, what we do, okay, when we go out and we, uh, when we go out and we teach, okay, and we have the 12 tribes sign, you have to take that for face value, okay? It says to accept someone or something without considering whether they really are what they claim to be, okay? Because at the end of the day, this is all about faith, okay? The, the 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 whole idea that you're an Israelite, which you can't prove, you know, physically that you're an Israelite, okay, we prove through the scriptures, okay, through history, of course, you know, but from your bloodline on down, you can't prove that you're an Israelite, okay, it don't matter if you're, you know, your, your, your mother's father, or your father's father, which I should say, or, or your, your great-grandfather, you know, you have to continue to, which if, if you do, then that's a good thing, you know. But you have to go deep into history to find out whether you are, man. Okay, and even if you know that you're, you're an Israelite, that don't mean that you're a man of the Lord. Okay, let's get that, let's get that uh, straight, man. Okay, so the thing is, man, when we, when we bring out this, um, the, the 12 tribes chart, man, you know, we're not just sitting out there standing with that 12 tribes, you know, chart for no reason. And we're not able to break down, you know, why we're out there, man. Okay. Now, I'm going to get this scripture. Okay. Because um, you have a lot of people that like to say that the 12 tribes are uh, pretty much all Negroes. Okay. Which there is no freaking... Uh, Bible uh, verse that says that you know the 12 tribes are all Negroes in the first place Okay, now this is uh numbers 1 and 18 that says and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month Okay, and you people would probably sit up there and think that that's talking about February, which is not Okay um, It says on the first day of the second month and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers according to the numbers of the name. I mean, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by that pole. Okay, so the lineage goes by the father. Okay, now we know that here in America we have slave owner last names. Okay, as the scriptures talk about, you know, we will discontinue from our heritage. Okay, we know that. Okay, it's no, you know, there's no getting around it. But the point is, are the 12 tribes, okay, all Negroes, okay? Now, um, I'm going to get this, the word, the definition of tribe, okay, for the Merriam-Webster, a social group comprising numerous families, Clans or generations together with slaves, dependents or adopted strangers, a political division 
of the Roman people or originally representing one of the three original tribes of ancient Rome, right? And then it says a group a group of persons having a common character, occupation, or interest. Okay? A common character. Who is the common character of all the Israelites? Okay? It's Jacob who got his name changed to Israel. Okay? And the, the, the interest is, you know, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Okay? Then, um, you have the, uh, the etymology of the word tribe, which is one of the 12 divisions of the ancient Hebrews. Okay? Which, the Hebrews aren't just, uh, Israelites, man. If you, if you people, you know, study then you will understand that the hebrews aren't just israelites okay you have hebrew that we, we call we call ourselves hebrew israelites okay it says um one of the three political ethnic divisions of the original roman state right then it says uh later later one of the 30 political divisions instituted by Servi servius tilly Tullius, okay, it says increased to 35 and 241 BC of unknown origin, okay, tri, which is three, okay, then you have uh, from the root word B, okay, other connect with the word from the power root, uh, trip, which means a dwelling, okay, so then down here it says in the biblical sense, which was the original one in English, the Latin word translates Greek file, race or tribe of men, body of men united by blood, ties of blood and descent, a clan, okay? Extension to modern ethnic groups or races of people is from 1590 specifically, I mean especially, a division of a barbarous uh, race of people usually distinguishable in some way from their congeners united in a community under a recognized head or chief okay and who is the recognized head of all the Israelites okay uh, is uh, you know Abraham Isaac and Jacob okay now to say that all of the 12 tribes are uh, Negroes. It's like saying all, you know, which you have different types of uh, lions, okay? Now, you have, uh, it says, what different types of lions are there, right? It says, lions are a large cat species belonging to the Philidae, family and are broadly classified as either African or Asian Asian lions okay which you know you go deeper into them words you know Africa and Asia Asian aren't in the uh you know Bible okay I believe Asia in the, is in the scriptures okay now it says um 10 lions of the world okay you have uh the lions, okay, some lions, you know, are able to climb trees. Then you have the Barbary lion, okay, the West African lion, okay, the Congo lion, okay, the Southwest African lion, the Maasai lion, the tra Transvaal Vaal lion, the Ethiopian lion, the Asiatic lion, and then it says the lion in danger, okay. Now, there are other uh, lions also. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get this uh, this uh, these pictures. When you look at the Asiatic lion, okay, which is this first picture, okay, it looks different from the African lion, okay, and then you have the American lion. Okay, now, the American lion doesn't necessarily have the fur that 
the a African lion uh, has. Okay? Does that make it not a lion? Just because it doesn't have the fur? Okay? Or because it comes from a different uh, family? It's still a lion. Okay? Now, I have to sit up there and say this. Okay? Which we say predominant. Okay? When we say the tribe of Judah are predominantly the so-called African Americans. Okay? The word predominant means to present is the strongest or main element okay so then it says the main chief principal most important primary prime central leading foremost key paramount and formal number one okay so when we bring out the the 12 tribes sign okay which that goes into um Genesis 49 about how the uh where the 12 tribes will be dwelling at in the last days okay is Genesis 49 and 1 and Jacob called unto his sons and said gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days now we know that his sons this is talking about this is Genesis we're talking about here okay the beginning of the whole entire Bible. This is talking about the last days. Where his twelve where his sons will be at in the last days. Okay? And you people do not know how to break down this, this scripture, man. To 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 show how it applies, man. All you people know how to you know, all you know is what's here in America. You know? What's here in Babylon the Great. Y'all y'all never been been overseas or, you know, uh looked at these different cultures and the, the way people are okay but it says um the most important or the primary okay which you have primary colors okay um it says of chief importance uh principle earliest in time or order and development so the furry from from the beginning okay all of the 12 tribes okay had melanin we when and they all still got melanin Okay, they all got melanin, but just because they got melanin don't mean that they're Negro. Okay, it says, um, not derived from, caused by, or based on anything else. Okay, so, you know, at the end of the day, the, 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 the Negroes, which are the so-called, uh, tribe of Judah, well, the tribe of Judah, which are the so-called Negroes, the tribe of Judah derived well, the Negroes derived, derived from the tribe of Judah. The same way how um, the uh, Sicilians derived from the tribe of Judah. Okay? The Sicilians and the reason why they act the way that they do is why? Because the what, what caused them to act the way that they do? Because the men, okay, put their seed into to these, uh, to the, uh, to the Italian women, man. Okay, and that's why that's why their spirit are the way that they are, man. Okay, continuing on, it says ethnicity, the fact or state of belonging to a social group that has a common national or cultural tradition. Okay, and what's the tradition of the Bible? <laughs> Is you know I read the first scripture by the house of their fathers, man. Okay. Whatever the father is, that that's that's what the child is gonna be, okay, and and that's why I brought up uh, Dinah, okay, uh, was Dinah was uh, Jacob's uh, daughter, man, but but Dinah, what 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 tribe was she from, man? Dinah was just an Israelite, okay. So 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 Dinah wasn't supposed to, to, to marry anybody because she, you know, uh she was just a Negro and she wasn't supposed to marry anybody that wasn't a, wasn't an Israelite. You know, that's you know, then you got people that say, well, you know, that's because the law wasn't back then. The law was always, you know, it was oral, man. Okay, that's why that's why uh Cain 
knew what sin was, man. Okay? Now, I want to get this point, okay, about uh, Rehoboam, okay? Rehoboam, okay, which was, uh, it says he was the fourth king of Israel, according to the Hebrew Bible, okay? Now, under Rehoboam, it says Rehoboam's mother, Naama, was an Ammonitish woman, and thus one of the foreign wives whom Solomon married, and the revised version she is referred to as the Ammonitess, right? So Rehoboam's mother was an Ammonite, okay? Now you have this doctrine saying that, okay, if a, 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 a woman, uh, if, a, if the woman isn't an Israelite, and the father is an Israelite, and he marries this woman, then that child that 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 father that is an Israelite has, okay, that's not an Israelite, which that is completely false, okay. Now it says Rehoboam reigned for seventeen years. When he died, he was buried beside his ancestors, the ones we had a common interest with. He was succeeded by his son Abijah, okay. Now one of the scriptures that you know these people. Who like to say that the 12 tribes are all Negroes. This is one scripture that they like to bring out. Tobit 4 and 12. They love to bring this out. Beware of all whoredom. My son. And chiefly take a wife. Of the seed of your fathers. And take not a strange woman. To wife. Which is not of your father's tribe. For we are the children of the prophets. Noah. Abraham. Isaac and Jacob. Remember, my son, that our fathers from the beginning, even that they all married wives of their own kindred and were blessed in their children and their seed so inherit the earth. Okay? So, there go the thing. It don't matter whether the woman is a, what is a, is an Israelite or not, man. Okay? That don't mean that the child is not going to be an Israelite uh, in, his, in himself, man. Okay? Now... Of course, you you know you're not you're not supposed to be out here making marriages with these heathens and stuff like that. But you are able to to to, to uh you know make a woman that is a uh 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 of another nation your woman if you want to. Okay. Um, and that's through the scriptures, man. Okay, and I'm gonna get that Deuteronomy twenty one and ten. When thou goest forth to war against your enemies. And the Lord your God has delivered them into your hands, and thou hast taken them captive, right? And she is among the captives a beautiful woman, and has a desire unto her, that thou wouldest have her to your wife, right? Oh my gosh, like, what did I just say? And you see a woman that's beautiful among the ones that you just captives, your enemies? And you, you want to make her your wife? But 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 the scripture just said, you know, don't don't take nobody that's that's not your wife. You know? So here go with the law say. Then thou shalt bring her home to your house, and she shall save her head and pare her nails. And she shall put on the raiment of her captivity from off her, and shall remain in your house and bewail her father and her mother a full month, and after that thou shalt go and unto her and be her husband. And she shall be your wife. And it shall be, if thou have no delight in her, then thou shalt let her go whither she will, but thou shalt not sell her at all for money. Thou shalt not make merchandise of her, because thou hast humbled her. Right? And that's what that means, man. Okay? So if you see a woman, okay, that, you know, that, that you know, you like, she's a beautiful woman, you know? You able to you able to to, to 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 deal with that woman, man. Okay. Now, um, let me get this scripture. Okay. Uh, because we just talked about Rehoboam. Okay. And this is pretty much a cut to you. You know, uh, all you know, Israelites are you know Negro. Uh, Matthew one and six, right? It says, and Jesse begat David the king and David the king begat Solomon of her that had been the wife of Urias 
right? Which that's talking about Uriah the Hittite, okay? David, uh, David uh, took Uriah's wife, okay? And Solomon came out of her, okay? Which that was a, a adultery, okay? It says, and Solomon begat Rehoboam, okay? When you go to that, it's talking about uh, Rehoboam, okay? It says, the son of Solomon by an Ammonite princess, uh, Naamah, right? Then it says, uh, and Rehoboam begat Abia, and Abia begat Asa, right? Then it goes on to Asa begat Jehoshaphat, and you know, and, and you know, so on and so forth, all the way down on to uh, Joseph. Okay, it says, and Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Yahawasah, who was called Hamashiach. Okay, so it says, jo jo Joseph basically came from the lineage of David, King David, right? Through uh, Solomon, okay? Through uh, Rehoboam, okay, as it says up here, through Rehoboam, through Asa, okay? Now, you're basically saying that, you know, this whole lineage that's in the scriptures isn't, isn't you know, all these people should, 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 shouldn't be Israelites, man. Okay, all because uh, Rehoboam, okay, he wasn't Israelite. So none of these people from, from Rehoboam on down should be Israelites, okay? But how is this so, okay? When the, the, the scriptures in Hebrews 7 and 14, it says, For it is evident that our Lord, Lord sprang out of Judah. How did the Lord spring out of Judah, man? Okay, if all the, you know, if 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 everybody that's in Matthew, the first chapter, if you know, if, if you have a heathen mother and your father is an Israelite, you know, and you, the, the children aren't aren't uh, aren't Israelites, you know, so how the heck did 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 you know the Lord uh, spring out of uh, Judah? Okay, and when you're going to that word spring. Okay, it says, uh, completed the Greek. Strong's G393, Anatello, Anatello. Okay, it says, Anatello. Okay, it says, to rise, to cause the rise of the earth, bring forth, I mean, yeah, bring forth plants to rise, arise, rise from, be descended from. So the Lord descended from Judah. How is that, man? So the Lord basically saying be a Negro. Okay? And you people just go off of, you know, skin color, but you don't understand that, you know, different people, you know, just because you look look like you could be from, you know, uh uh the the you know a Negro don't mean that you are a Negro. Okay? So you people don't understand uh, history, man, or or you know uh, the truth. Period. Okay. Now let me get another example. Jeremiah twelve and nine. It says, "My heritage is unto me as a speckled bird." Okay. Let me look up a speckled bird and see what you know pops up. Oh, what is that? It looks like that bird, you know, and it don't look just all black. Okay? This is these are what speckled birds look like, man. Okay, so that means that according to the Bible, okay, let me get this. John 6 and 63. It says, uh, it is the spirit. That quickens the flesh profits nothing. Okay? And that means it's the spirit that lives, the, the flesh profit nothing, man. So just because you, you might see a person that might look like, 
you know, uh, um, an Israelite don't mean that they that they are an Israelite, man. And that don't mean that they are a, a, a man of the Lord, okay? The Israelites are going to look like many different, you know, all the nations where they are, man, okay? And that brings me to my next scripture in Isaiah uh, 11 and um, I'm going to start at 11. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria. So in the, in, in, in you have people that are in Assyria that are Israelites and from Egypt. Okay. You have people that are in Egypt that look like Israelites and from Pathros and from Cus and from Elam. And from Sinar, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. So the Israelites are going to look like all these nations where they are. Okay? Where they are scattered to be. Okay? And he shall set up an ensign for the nations, and so assemble the outcasts of Israel. Look up this word, outcast. Strong's H, 1760. Dacha. 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 Okay, it says to push, thrust, chase, overflow, totter, soar, drive away, of or out, be outcast, be cast down. To push, push violently, to be thrust down, be cast down, be thrust down, to drive away. Okay? So it says the outcast of Israel. He shall set up an ensign for the nations. Okay, what's those nations, man? The nations of the nation of Israel, man. Okay, the ones that, you know, are are out there, you know, uh don't know who they are, according to the Bible. But now we telling you who you are according to the Bible. You know? You you, you found out who you are, man. So now you you coming back into your your your, your heritage. Okay, it says, and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The envy of also of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Because at the end of the day, like I said, you people don't know history, man. Y'all are them same Jews, okay, during the time of, you know, when the Lord... Yahweh the one of the world, it didn't really cause Jesus came on the scene. Y'all are them same Jews that are sitting up there calling the, the, the other tribes not Israelites. Okay? The Latin and the, and the Native Americans. Okay? You, but you can't tell me what, what tribe those people are from. Those people don't have the, the, the spirit of, you know, any other nation other than, than the Israelites. Okay? And this, the, the, the prophecies and everything line up with, you know, those people. Okay? And then and then you also have, you know, the Latin and the, the Native Americans that are, you know, looking at the, the Negroes. You know, like how this so-called white man looks at us, man. Okay? So the scriptures say that the envy also of Ephraim shall depart and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. You know what that mean? You not you niggas who sitting up there saying that the twelve tribes are all Negroes, y'all gonna be cut off, man. Okay? And and, and y'all are gonna um y'all gonna realize that that you know the people that y'all are calling, you know, not Israelites are the Israelites, man. Okay. So uh pretty much, you know, that's the point, man, because I wanted to get into, you know, how the, the other tribes came over here already. You know, and how, you know, the, 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 you know, the Negroes look, you know, which, you know, I'm not arguing the fact that, you know, these people aren't Israelites, okay, but, you know, you can't just look at, you know, somebody like Jason Kidd, you know, as Jason Kidd in, is an Israelite, man, you know, no ifs, fans, or buts about it, man. You know what tribe is he from then, man? If he's not, you know, his father is his father is a Jake. You know? What tribe is he from, man? You know? Uh what tribe is Drake from, man? Okay? 
they got to have a tribe, man. Everybody on this planet has a tribe, okay? One way or another, okay? And you can't say just because somebody has, you know, white skin, you know, that, you know, they they aren't uh, that parent's uh, child, man, you know? Because cause other than that, how did, how did Esau come out, man? It, it, isn't that Isaac and Rebecca's child? Still, you know, or is Jacob just Isaac uh, and Rebecca's child? You know, so the the, the thing is, man, it's it say that you know the Lord. I'm gonna finish the scripture off. My my Jeremiah twelve and nine. My inheritance is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about are against her. Come ye assemble all the beasts of the field. Come to devour. You know, and that's what happened, man. The, the, the so-called white man done, you know, messed with, you know, our people and, and, and made them think that, you know, that pretty much you got some, 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 uh, white people that look like they black, man. You know, you got, you got, you know, they, they raped our people and they, they made terrors, man. So you can't just sit up there and say that, you know, all the 12 tribes are just Negroes, man. Okay, when the scriptures say that, you know, the 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 the, the Israelites are going to look different, man. I ain't even bring out, you know, about how, you know, Ephraim is a kick, not turn, man. Okay? But this is just, you know, a quick little lesson, man. Hopefully this is edifying, you know. Uh, but I want to say Salawam until next time.